in my face for the recording. يعني شو نسوي يعني because I did not shave well. Uh, I just recognized when I started this lecture today. Uh, so uh, going back, it's okay. You will get used to me. يعني I'm, I'm very open-minded and uh, I speak loud and what comes into my mind as well. Uh, so coming back, so uh, the prerequisites of the course syllabus is stat 273. So we are going to talk about histograms. We are going to talk about uh, control charts, uh, for example. Uh, so there are things which are related to the average and standard deviation calculations and maybe the probability later at the end of the course, we are going to have something as well. So this is all related to what? To stat 273. Uh, 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 then you also have MINT 300, which is related to the management systems. And what do we mean by management? Uh, most of our classes are going to be discussions with examples. It's going to be examples. Hello. Uh, and that what makes my course different from many different courses. People who have taken MINT 300 and even 400, what is uh, uh, the, the difference they will find in my course is that I will always present examples, always will present examples. Uh, I have been working with in quality assurance field since 2006, I think so, five or six, yeah, and till today. So and, um, and myself, I'm I'm considered. Uh, it's not it's not a show off. I'm just telling you what I have. Uh, it's, uh, I'm I'm considered as an international quality expert. Uh, this is this is not only consideration; it is registered, registered in UNESCO, or it is registered in the International Network of Quality Assurance in Higher Education. Uh, I'm registered as a quality expert, uh, and alhamdulillah. Uh, you also can read my articles that I write weekly. I already have written. Um, uh, I can't remember, 15 or 16 articles. Uh, when Corona started, I started writing. And uh, so I just having more time to do th other things. OK, so what's next? What do we have lecture time? I think so it's here from 11. All right, 11 to 12, Adel. I already mentioned this at the top there. Oh, ah, this is the office hours. I thought this is the uh okay so i confused myself so the, the timing is from 11 to 12. so let's go down here which is more important to do some other stuff so what we are going to study we're going to study quality assurance understanding commitment leadership organization um, and all of those stuff now when i get to the details of this i always like to explain uh, my uh, my course description in a different way uh, and and let's see how I can explain this to you now. Uh, so we have the whiteboard. It's the first day of classes. Things are still not in place, settled. So and uh, way I'm trying to settle everything. OK, so this is what we have here. Uh, so what I'm trying to show you here is that uh, now we're going to st study the quality management system, right? And uh, talking about the quality management system, we have the word quality, we have management, and we have the word system. Uh, quality means something good, okay? Um, uh, something good, okay? It, 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 what else quality could mean? Quality could mean anything. Uh, it also could mean uh, a, a good price. A very reasonable price. Uh, what else it could mean? It could be. It could mean a very uh, fast service. Uh, okay, and many other stuff. Fine. Uh, when I say good price, fast service, still you don't have the the the, the, the this this uh, uh, imagination that could clarify things into your mind. It's better to have things with examples. Yani. I went to a restaurant. If I was good in drawing, I could have drawn this, yani. But yani, uh, I I went to a restaurant. I went to the table. I sat on the table, and and I ordered. And this guy, 
uh, the colors are not working. Okay, I don't have some space. Uh, I need to close all this. Okay. When you close something, I think that I can have more space to do some other stuff. Bad Mafisa. Okay, whatever. I cannot change the color for the person who's going to serve you. Okay, so this is the person who's serving you here, and and this person uh, you order. And after you present your order and telling, well, I want well, uh, uh, pasta. And when you order for pasta, you wait there for 20, 30, 40 minutes. And then the pasta is here. OK, the pasta is here. Uh, now, if I would ask a question for you, and if you would uh, share me, uh, what makes you happy? Here, what what will make you happy if you order a pasta? What are the quality stuff that you look at which will make you happy? The time. Uh, time, hello. So the time is one of it. What else did I did not mention? I mentioned the time, but there are some other uh, other uh, characteristics. As we can say. OK, great, Mumtaz. It should uh, it should fit my purpose. OK. Fit to purpose, and in this case, for pasta fit to purpose, it should be any uh, hot pasta, and more cold pasta. Bad, should not come. Delicious, delicious. So the taste, okay, which is also part of fit to purpose. Bad. Okay. That means the 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 delivery. And here I don't mean the delivery only. I mean, um, here we, we, there's another word. Uh, it is something to do with the posture. Uh, you, you need someone who's smiling. And then uh, and, and you can feel the difference. I mean, I don't know if you went to different restaurants in Bahrain, but if you go to a restaurant uh, for some busa and chapati, Yani, you don't always get a smile. You just get what you want and you leave. Uh, he doesn't have time to, to smile to you. Yani. And uh, you, you're, pay, you're paying yani, rababi, yani, <laughs> very few money, right? Uh, so it is a difference. Uh, as, uh, you also can have people coming to you and they show you very nicely, smile to you. They give you the food very slowly. Uh, and they put the towel on your lap, in which I totally hate. I totally hate it. A man, and this is something to do with quality again, but and this is the, about fit to purpose. A man trying to put a towel on my lap, but he goes to a lady, it's not allowed. Or a lady coming, uh, she's trying to put a towel uh, on your on your lap, and 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 she's trying to do this to me. No, no, stop, please. Uh, so the thing is that there are many things which 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 could disturb the customer. Here you can see that how you're looking at the customer at the customer uh, expectations. And how it would affect the quality. Do you have more points? And can I say you have more points? Do you have more points as well or is it enough? Making the packaging nice or good presentation. Hello, good presentation. You, uh, you, you know that sometimes you just pay more just for the presentation. And uh, it could be the same French fries, but instead of the French fries, and uh, instead of the French fries being like this, يعني ما أعرف شلون يعني مهم يعني uh, let me see something. I, I I would like to see this. Okay, so French fries. Uh, hey, let's see actually French fries. Okay, so if you just look at it, Yanni, your haggle images. These are the French fries, and this is what we get most of the time, right? 
but uh, you can make it more fancy. Well, I'm not sure what I fancy. Uh, this is part of being some kind of different, okay, and and uh, trying to be a little different. Uh, can I put fancy French fries? You see, like this arrangement here is totally different, and it just adds to its cost. So it could be cost, and it could cost, for example, 400 fills or 500 fills, and now it will cost you 1.5 BD. Okay, three times <laughs> the price, Yanni. If you add also flavors on it, 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 it becomes totally different. So what I'm trying to get to here, I'm trying to get to the idea is that, Yanni, uh, you see how many qualities did you add? You add a lot of qualities here. Many uh, 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 arrangements, let me write here. So you have uh, added a lot of qualities which goes back to what goes to the customer expectations. Goes back to the customer satisfaction, uh, satisfaction expectations, which is customer uh, satisfaction at the end. Now, what I'm trying to explain here, I still did not start any my my lectures yet, but what I'm, what I'm trying to get to here is the quality, the word quality. So we are we are studying the quality assurance and reliability in engineering. So part of quality assurance is quality management system. And now the, the word quality, you already have seen that. What does it mean? And there are more and more. OK, I'm just taking an example of a restaurant. If you take an example of a rental car, so you want to rent a car and while renting the car, you go and uh, what do you expect? You expect if you order the car, you get the same car you expect if you want to upgrade the car, you get it with a reasonable price and there's a possibility also to uh, uh, to upgrade your car. This is part of something called reliability. We're going to take that in details all later. Part of renting a car is that if you cancel the car, you are yeah, and maybe uh, it costs it costs nothing or it will cost only one day. Uh, on you without the insurance part. Yani, uh, these are all, uh, uh, for example, uh, something add of added values. Uh, uh, if you go and rent a car, uh, bad? Yani, I remember Dr. Qais, yani he, he used to talk to me about renting a car in one of the European countries. OK, and uh, it was in Germany, yani, let me see it. Uh, so uh, he had a very, very bad experience, a very bad experience in renting that car. Uh, first, he ordered a car. He did not get the same car. And when he got the other car, which was not the same car, they made him pay more. Why? Because it was a little bigger. And the, 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 the substitute car that he has taken and he had paid more uh, after two days or something like that, it broke down. After it broke down, you just imagine broken down on the way while you're going to go to the very greeny hills on the mountains, and it just breaks down with your whole family. You call them, no one replies. You wait for hours till you get someone reply. And once someone replies, uh, <laughs> and once someone replies, uh, he he tells you that they will not come and take the car. You need to return the car back to them. And then so it was a nightmare. It was a nightmare, Yanni. And the story didn't finish yet, Yanni. There was still that he tried to return the car uh, with other means. And when he returned the car, they did not give him the substitute car on the same day. They gave him after two days. Uh, so uh, and when he gave they gave him after two days, they ask him also to pay more and they will give him another car with a bigger size. <laughs> uh, so what, what I'm, the bad experience that I'm just telling you reflects that uh, all the qualities, however, on the back on the, on the on the disadvantage side, we call it we call it backward looking quality. We will come to this, OK? So all this is a part of back of uh, uh, looking quality. OK, so what did I miss here? This was all about quality. We are going to discuss many examples. I mean, 
um, most of my examples are stories, but th this is this is life, right? We are, you're talking about life and quality is all about what happens in life. We'll take many, many examples. Uh, management. So what what is management? The, 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 yeah, the management part is that if you have something which is quality, how can you maintain? Uh, let me close this and open it again because it's not allowing me to change colors. OK. Mary Samhouni. OK, so the word management here from the from the QMS, OK, the word management here. What 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 do I mean by management? You also we already mentioned that you need quality, right? And if, if we have taken the example of a restaurant. So we already said that part of quality is uh, is time to deliver the food. Now, if this is one of my main qualities, the question is that how could I manage? How could I manage? That my delivery time. For example, I have identified my delivery time to be always less than 15 minutes. So if I said that my delivery time is always less than 15 minutes, what is my management system? What is my management system that will allow me that I will always have a delivery of my food in best conditions that is fit to fit to purpose and it will be less than 15 minutes. And here when you talk about management system, uh, you, you talk about something else like uh, why? Because you're you're not talking about, for example. What makes my food get late? From the customer uh, food, my food here. Well, uh, I, I think it goes both way. I have the customer and I have the restaurant here. And there's an order. So what makes uh, my food get late? Uh, the things that you say, you're going to say that. Huh, is, is there someone wants to answer? Uh, like the size of no. order. The size of the order, صح? Mungkin the size of the order. That means maybe your management system at the restaurant did not consider the size of the order. Possibly, صح? Uh, I'll, I'll tell you one, one very easy example. Yani, uh, I went to have a cafeteria that was a long time back and I ordered a sandwich. And when I ordered the sandwich, the sandwich took about 30 minutes to get ready. But when, <laughs> sandwich, yani, yani, from a cafeteria, uh, which, 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 yani, which, yani, which, 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 okay, yani, omelet with cheese. And yani, it's, it's, it's just like a five minute job. Uh, why should it take this much? What happened is that they did not have the raw material. I don't know. I know the word materials here is different. I do. I, I mean, they did not have the supply. OK, uh, I don't mean raw material. They did not have bread. They did not have the bread. So what did he do? The person went, he went to the supermarket, he bought some bread and he came back. And after when he came back here, uh, he started cooking it for me. So most of the time actually took because he didn't have things in place ready. Now, if I would ask, say, yani, why? Why did they did not have the bread in place? That means they don't have uh, a good management system that that considers buying, making all my my bread ready uh, before in hand. Uh, they also call it what uh, you have things in stock. And if you have things in stock yani, uh, at your place in your shop, war, where are you going to store it? So maybe I don't have a way of storing my bread. But I know it goes into the details. OK, who is going to buy? Who will buy the bread? 
Okay, and uh, from 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 what money I'm going to bribe from the bread? I'm going to get it from the profit, or I'm going to get it from an input money that is given by the organization or by the owner of the sh shop. Uh, so all the details of who is going to do the purchase, who is going to cook, who is going to do the delivery, who is going to look at this whole system to improve it. All that is considered as what? As a management system, as a management system. I know I'm taking, I'm taking you with a very simple example of a cafeteria, but it counts the same for all. It is a management system. At the end of the day, we need to have a good management system. But the word system here adds to the management uh, is that if you have things in place, you need to have a good system for it. That means you need to uh, to draw, for example, this in a flow chart. You need to write policies. Who's responsible for what? Because if you don't write the policies, you will always have problems. Yani, uh, مثلاً, you already asked. Uh, you already. Some of you got a, a grade that he was not expecting. Instead of getting, for example, uh, A, he got a C, مثلاً. And when he got a C, he asked for an appeal to review his exam or her exam. And when she asked for an appeal, now who will review your exam? If there's no policy written here, it could be a problem. Uh, for example, we have a very clear policy is the person who teaches the exam or the person who taught you in that uh, in that course cannot uh, reassess, cannot re-exam your paper, cannot, huh? cannot re-exam your paper. Why? Because he already corrected your paper. And to be fair, we we look at two other professors who can correct your paper. So now this policy is written. Imagine that this policy was not written. It could cause some problems, uh, a lot of problems, and uh, and so on. I I, mean, I have other examples, but I think so. This is just enough. Uh, so what I'm trying to say, you need to have policies within your system here. Uh, you need to have a policy. Uh, how uh, the job description of every person. So this is part of the policy. You have a job description of every person. Uh, you need to explain the process of every part. The process means what? Who does the purchase? OK, it's not who does the purchase. Uh, how is he going to purchase it? Uh, what is the process of purchasing? But when I talk about cafeteria, remember the example is, is not that, but if at the university, at the university, and you already went through this, some of you within their senior projects, uh, they wanted to buy, they wanted to buy uh, uh, a pH meter. Okay, they wanted to buy a pH meter. And while while ordering for buying a pH meter, they found out that the process is not easy. They need, of course, a purchase order. But who does the purchase order is not students, it's the professor. When the professor wants to make a purchase order, he needs to take the department approval. Why he needs to take the department approval? Because he needs some money. And without money, he cannot do anything. And, and 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 to wait for the department approval and getting some money again to get this money out you need the college approval uh, what i'm talking about is something true so uh, so this thing this thing needs to be fixed and i will tell you what is happening in some other universities OK, again, so uh, I want a pH meter to get this pH meter. I want to buy it. I need uh, to have a purchase order. Wh when I went as a student to buy it, they told me, no, you need to go to your professor. He is the one who needs to fill this purchase order. So he fills the purchase order and then they tell him, OK, now you fill the purchase order. It needs to take a department approval. When the department approves, they need money because they need money. They need the college approval. And because the college approval needs money, and then it goes where they don't have the money in their hand. And, um, 
I feel sorry to say this, but يعني, uh, so they need to take what? They need to take the university approval. But the university approval, if they find out, and not everyone at the university level knows what a pH meter means. Uh, of course, someone someone who's not an engineer, maybe he doesn't know, doesn't know what is a pH meter. It is normal. And because he doesn't know what is pH meter, maybe he refuses it. Uh, so you can see that how things go. And, and then they started improving the process and said, well, uh, instead of the university approval, we will make the VP of Financial Affairs approves it. Uh, and so on. And then they came back and said that the VP of Financial, VP of Vice President. OK, now Rais Lishu'un al wal Idariya. OK, so the VP for the financial matters, he cannot approve it. Uh, he, he cannot always approve because he doesn't understand if this thing is important. Uh, this pH meter is important to buy or not. So what does he do? And he, he may approve or disapproves or delays because he doesn't know uh, if, if it is important or not. And then they said what? Halas, the VP only processes Processes, that means he doesn't give any approval. خلاص, يصرف على طول. Okay, so he's, he sent this money, he he, uh, he, he assigns the, 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 the money needed to buy this pH meter, which is a very good thing that had been uh, improving by time. I'm talking about this whole process, which used to take from one year, and now it's down to, let me say, six months, four months, that's the best thing يعني, تقريباً, you can do with something like that. I'll tell you that when I was a student in one of the universities, what was the story? The story is that I went to the professor. The per Every professor in that university is already assigned with a certain amount of pocket money. Of course, it's not a pocket money only. It is... يعني, I don't mean pocket money, several dinars. يعني, I'm, I mean thousands of dinars. And because the professor sees that this pH meter is important, so he fills in the purchase order and sends it directly for purchase. Purchase, that means there's a, there's a, uh, uh, there's an, uh, uh, a department responsible for purchasing. Usually the, the VP, he sends, when he agrees, he sends it to the purchase department to buy. So you see this whole process had been solved by what? By giving this amount of money to the professor so that he can decide to purchase and it goes directly to the purchase, which may take two days, three days. Imagine the difference, huh? Imagine the difference from four, one year to four months to two to three days. What I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to change the quality management uh, system. I'm, I'm changing the flow chart. This is the flow. I'm changing the flow to be like that. Uh, so that, that is one of the examples. I mean, uh, if you ask me, why is this not applicable uh, at University of Bahrain? Uh, this has another story to do with trust. Yani, and I cannot talk more than that. Yani, I think by that, I think I, I'm crossing the lines. And I think so it's good enough for you to know uh, the story up to here. Because why is not trust? Oh my God, this, this is another big story uh, that uh, we could talk a lot about. But it's nothing to do with our course. OK, so we go back. So this is the part of the quality management system. And yani, because I have limited time, uh, so I'm trying to explain to you the course description. Quality assurance. What is the difference between quality assurance, quality understanding, quality commitment, uh, leadership, organization? What it is to do with quality? Uh, uh, so all what I explained, quality management system, I did not talk about leadership. Uh, somehow very close I was talking about it, but not straight forward. The role quality, the role of quality system planning, flow charting. I was mentioning how to maintain plant quality and operation reliability. 
OK, causes and consequences of failure. Why failures happen? Uh, if they happen, how do you manage those failures? OK, how do you manage those failures? For example, we are going to use a cause and effect diagram. It is called the fish uh, bone diagram or the Ishikawa. Ishikawa is the name of a Japanese scholar. So Ishikawa diagram. Uh, so we are going to study that. We may study reliability of systems that are serious, parallel. Uh, this is something to do with uh, more towards about the instruments yani in the industry. Yani we have, you have a, an instrument which fails. Yani methylene, you have a, uh, a temperature controller which fails uh, twice per year. This is the history data of that kind of controllers. You have have uh, a valves which who fail or which fails uh, uh, five times per year. I'm just giving an examples. So what is the reliability of this system of having valves failing five times per year and controllers failing two times per year and alarms failing uh, three times per year? What is the reliability of the system? If the reliability is low, yani 20 percent methylene, is this good for a system or it is bad? Now, how can you improve the reliability of the system by making it instead of 20% to 90%? Uh, so we are going to study this as well. Hello. Fault tree diagrams, something to do with uh, errors, problems, and we are trying to solve it. Implementation methods, communication, guidelines for writing a quality manual. We are going to study the quality manual, the ISO. You don't have the word ISO here but uh, we are going to study it in details, which includes all the parts here. Hello, so uh, our course outcomes conceptualize the development of quality assurance, quality management, quality control. So I talk about quality management, but there are some other stuff called quality assurance and quality control as well. Apply the seven QC tools. So we are going to study the seven QC tools. There are QC tools the old one and the new ones. They're totally two different ones. So there are seven plus seven, 14 different quality control tools. So we are going to study all of them. Ability to implement, communicate for quality management system to solve problems. So we are going to study what are, uh, what is quality management system, what is ISO and, and the details of ISO. And then we are going to come uh, to, to the, the reliability part, cause and consequences, failure, for failure root cause analysis method. Now coming to the part that you always ask for. Um, I, and I was planning to have quizzes. However, these quizzes are going to be formative. That means you will have no percentage. And it will be fun quizzes using the quiz.com online. Uh, the things that will have some grades are going to be uh, uh, um, there are going to be the tests uh, one and test two. Uh, both tests are going to be home exams. Uh, test one is going to be 21st, move to 25th, and th. Sorry. <laughs> okay, that's why I couldn't pronounce it. Okay, 21st of March. This is 25th. I mean, it doesn't fit. Okay, so 21st of March and 16th of May. Now, don't worry if you have exam on the same day because it's going to be an, a home exam. And usually, because it's a home exam, you're going to have one week to solve the problem. So it's, you're not submitted on the same day, you will have a one week to solve it. Now, uh, and, and most probably, the home exam is going to be group work. And uh, because it's going to be group work, I'm going to ask uh, that you form your groups and you're forming the groups, you can form it on in, in four or fives uh, as you wish. OK, uh, so if you have four, you can make a group. If you have five, you can make a group. If you have six, uh, I don't prefer that because six is uh, many, many, I think it's a lot. Uh, so I don't prefer group of six. So try to make it four and five. Uh, if you, uh, six, I keep it as the last resort. If 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 there's a one person who's stuck, he doesn't have anyone, and then I will go for six. sort of Sorry, and I don't how to say that in English. Okay, so uh, that a person who goes to the groups and everyone says no, 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 and and at the end of and at the end of the day, he's he's alone. 
So لا يعني we we don't want to keep anyone alone. We want groups. طبعاً this will save you some time as well, uh, and it will save save you some effort. However, however, the final is going to be not a group work. It will not be a group work. It will be a final of a two hours from 2:30 to 4:30. And uh, why I'm saying this also uh, because there are many students. There are many students who are يعني, uh, who do very good in test one and test two, but they don't do good in final. Those who solve uh, uh, with their hands, they understand test one and test two. It's not that they depend on their friends, on their mates. Uh, so if they solve by themselves, understand what is in test one and test two, they will do definitely good in final, definitely. Because I bring also part of those questions, however, on different case studies. And here I, I brought in a, a, a case study was about KFC or Emirates Airlines. Here I'm going to bring an example instead of Emirates Airlines about Gulf Air. Uh, but there are some things which are a little different. Uh, so the students who applied on Emirates Airlines, he will know how to apply that on Gulf Air. Hello, so, uh, so, so that is for home exam one and two. Uh, currently, uh, the exams are without presentations, are without presentations. Will I add a presentation? I may add a presentation. Allah Garba Basic Ahmed. OK, so how many students got an A grade? Well, I can't remember how many students got an A grade. Yeah, it's right. And I'm, I'm kept. Uh, I think this is recorded. If this is recorded, you're going to see all the names. I cannot open this file. Um, let me put the 60%, 60% there. OK, so the 60% shows that you see that the cases, students get 14, 16, 16, 19, 14, 19, 16. Good marks, mashallah. Test one, 15, 18, also good. Uh, it's all mainly the average is like 18 or 17, maybe. Uh, test two. Again, maybe the average is also 17 or maybe 16, something like that. Uh, and, and this is the 60 percent. Most of the students are 48, 50. Uh, so and here 50, 50. So that was the grades. And uh, how many students got in the final or how many students got A? I can't remember. If I can recall five students, Six students got an A. Uh, th this is if I can remember well, uh, which is normal. And and then you have A minus and B plus as well. Okay, so uh, uh, so that's the story for test one and test two and final. Please form your groups now. Forming the groups, uh, I prefer that if we have a WhatsApp. Uh, I don't know who's going to take the responsibility of forming the WhatsApp group. It it helps actually uh, for communication, and then. And name your group. I don't know if you want to name it with a certain name or just name it group A, group B, group C, group D, group E, and group F. And then I'll ask I'll group F. Okay. <laughs> so group F. Uh, I don't mean that they are the F students, sorry. Uh, that uh, yani just form your groups. Uh, these are the topics if you want to go. I already went through the topics, the quality management systems, statistical tools, and these are the the, the way of how we are going to go through the classes. I forgot to mention something. We have case studies of 20%. Case studies of 20%. So that will make 60% and then 40 for the final. Great. Any questions? Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, doctor, also the case also studies the case are going studies. to be on uh, groups. groups. Yes, everything is group work except the final. Okay, thanks. Okay, thanks. Hello. So form the groups. Who's going to take the care, care of uh, doing the WhatsApp group? And then two case studies. Yes, two case studies. Okay, who's going to take the responsibility? Okay. So. so uh, the, uh, the sound is very loud at my place. So we'll see that uh, I need someone who will make the WhatsApp group. We already have a WhatsApp group from last semester. 
علي شكرا الله زين شكرا علي خلاص علي we will wait for you إن شاء الله and uh, I would add that uh, when we make the group I will say I will say please put your group in WhatsApp and then you're going to write group A uh, Ahmed uh, Abdallah Ibrahim Faraz Srijith for example and then the other group will say group B these are our names and then group C will say this is my group and put our names and so on good luck yaatikum al afiyah wa barakallahu fikum allah yassir umurkum inshallah yalla fa'ala na'as salama